Hey, what's happening everybody? Pragmatic Addict here, back with another review. So today, we are going to be sitting down talking about Barbarian. <sighs> Guys. Guys. <laughs> so if you saw my last video, I was talking about my high anticip anticipation for this film. Uh, how I was supposed to actually see it yesterday at a screening, which actually got cancelled. And I just gotta say, guys, it lived up to the hype. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's not waste any time, guys. Let's let's talk about Barbarian. <laughs> so this film takes no time to get started. It starts very immediately. And what I loved almost as me as immediate, like as the film starting, was our lead uh, character Tess, played by Georgina Campbell, I believe it was. Right off the bat, it's that kind of character that you can tell is going to be in a damn good horror film. <laughs> She's very humane feeling. Uh, she also has kind of like this quip and kind of attitude toward her that just suits well for a very dark and darkly humorous uh twisted fucking horror film but basically the setting and plot of this film is that this woman has booked this airbnb a month or so in advance and when she shows up in the middle of the night in the pouring rain she doesn't seem to have any way in and can't get a hold of anybody and it soon turns out that there is another person staying there as well who ends up inviting her in to get things sorted and when shit kind of doesn't really go anywhere and this woman has no real luck she decides to just stay the night at this airbnb with this stranger played by bill skarsgård yeah fucking pennywise Woo! Uh, named uh, Keith and he's basically like, you know, we'll just stay the night tonight You know, we'll sort everything out in the morning, you know, we'll get our refunds yada 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 and I will say this sounds and sets up like a pretty cliche horror film But holy fuck it is anything but <laughs> and what I want to say really quickly is just how much I love how Bill Skarsgård just answers the door right here Yeah but once these characters are actually under the same roof together, it's actually really fucking fun because you get that sense that the audience is just no longer fucking safe. Bill Skarsgård, uh, especially like just initially, he has a very ominous, very mysterious, and even like subtle and like kind of selective character layout to him that really helps keep his... You know, you know, the backgrounds of his character, very mysterious and very ominous. As well as just this kind of slow burn that just descends into fucking horror. And I will say, the lineup of cliches in this horror film, they don't seem like your cliches for your next, you know, whatever horror film. They feel lined up like that because it was like, it was part of the plan, it was part of the joke. And I think in a way, Zack Krager did that deliberately to kind of, you know, catch the audience off guard. This is a film, again, that just descends into fucking madness. It is a very, you know, tricky horror film. You know, it has a lot of, you know, really tricky camera angles and a lot of kind of, you know, like, like fun, uh, kind of, you know, well-crafted uh, directing as well. And this is just a very, just morbid, very fun, creepy-ass horror film. And I gotta say, it's, it's, it, it, what I really liked about it as well is that it does have that classic kind of, like, haunted house kind of, like, horror to it. As well as that, you know, just don't trust strangers kind of fucking classic horror story to it. And I gotta say that this is one of the most well done horror films I think I've seen in fucking years. I also got really attached to the uh, chemistry of the leads of uh, Bill Skarsgård as well as Georgina Campbell. Their chemistry, it felt very organic, very natural. And just even the development with these leads. The, I would actually go as far as to say that like, literally like the first act or so is literally just... Keith and Tess just getting to know each other as fucking strangers, just, you know, being thrown into this unfortunate event. And it was great because this isn't the longest horror film, but the film still took its time to really flesh out these characters. And it was great because, you know, it really is just these two characters, you know, just getting to know each other in the first act or so. The setting of this house, of this Airbnb, it feels very unknown, very unsettling, very uncomfortable. And that is because, again, how tricky of a film this is. There's a lot of very uncomfortable camera angles that, you know, really make the film or the uh, setting of this house look very unknown, very ominous, you know, and, and, and the fears that a stranger would have kind of walking into this home, they made it look as uncomfortable as they possibly could. And another thing is that this, the sort of introduction, I guess, that you could call it, the film does kind of change its tone for a sec where, you know, you're being put in a spot where you're just kind of like, well, then how the, how the hell does the rest of the film fucking happen then? Like, things could just be, you know, set here. 
But again, this is a film that is very, you know, cryptic, very subtle, very smart, and it knows exactly what it wants to gain out of the audience and how it wants to mislead them, what it wants them to think in the moment. And it is, you know, definitely a horror that is definitely, you know, for dissecting as well. And another thing I really liked about the film is that much like its characters, just its, you know, settings, its plot points, you know, things that go from one thing to another, it takes its time with, you know, revealing certain things at certain times to a certain limit. And one thing I had a lot of fun with as well that I just could not fucking contain myself with was not just how fun the movie was as a horror film, but the characters too. You get a hunch of, you know, who some characters may or may not be, most notably, you know, for example, in the beginning, uh, Bill Skarsgård. You kind of get a hunch at, like, what the film is kind of, like, hinting at, at least, towards his character. But then you're also, you know, you see the film through the perspective of this character, Tess, as a stranger who is just, you know, who just has to fucking stick this out. And you really, what I loved about the movie is that you don't really know right off the bat, you know, or even as the film goes on, what character is really who. Or if I said that right. Because the film is, you know, one of those you know, movies where, again, it is from the perspective of certain characters, and when things really start escalating and, you know, things really get going, the acting and the characters are written, you know, so well that us as an audience, like, our minds actually start playing tricks on us and have us actually kind of, like, self-sabotaging ourselves at times and, you know, even just, like, questioning what, you know, was actually just fucking clear as day in the beginning. And that's what I loved about the film is that it was a very kind of, I wouldn't say cat and mouse kind of horror, but it was, again, just a very twisted and very twisty horror film. It was very well crafted. And what I'll say now is that as this film goes on, not only as an escalating horror film, but just as a film in general, just things that happen and where this film, you know, where its setting actually ends up taking us, is just, it was just that sense of shit's just getting worse and worse. This is just gonna get fucking worse. And what I liked is that the film felt very natural at that. And also, going a little bit forward now, uh, the trailer kind of hinted at Justin Long's character kind of being like more like minor, maybe just like a supportive character. And I was actually surprised at how much he really fucking contributed to this fucking film. And even his character, the way that he's introduced, it feels like, you know, a new and the next chapter of the actual story of this film. And that's another thing I want to go back to now is that, you know, again, the cliches and you know, how, you know, misleading that they are in the film. The film pulls this shit where, you know, sometimes you'll, like, as the audience, you'll just be like, hmm, okay, all right, got it. And then, literally, like, the next moment, like, like, there are times, like, where that happened, and then the next moment, I was, like, trying not to disturb or disrupt the other audience in the theater because shit just happens that, just, what? <laughs> what? Again, you know, that's just how, that just goes into another factor of how fun and well-crafted this film was, is that there are things that, you know, happen that, you know, push the film toward that, you know, the, the film chooses to do that wouldn't normally work at all. And just, you know, introducing new portions of this film, I just fucking applauded the movie at that. But I will say this now, though. Once Justin Long's character is kind of like pulled into this movie and you know how it goes forward from there i still enjoyed the movie you know in the sense of like at this point the the movie could just go anywhere at this point like anything could fucking happen at this point point. and the movie still continues to have some pretty fun and interesting writing and overall does fine with continuing its story and but i'm not i'm not gonna say that it like loses its streak or anything but it kind of sticks to a certain plot point and kind of centers on you know this character's connections to the story that we've seen up to this point and tries to fill in those gaps, and I do think that, again, it's not bad or anything, but there are points, especially in this portion of the film, where it does kind of have the audience just kind of scratching their heads, just kind of, you know, going along with it, just kind of having to accept some shit. And again, it, it's not that it was bad or anything, it just, it just felt maybe just like a little less natural or just less believable than the rest of the movie up to this point. And as we go forward, another thing that I had a lot of fun with and that I was really surprised at is how many characters you know, actually come into this film and are actually just as crucial as they are to the story. And another, like, kind of risky thing I thought that there was to the film that it actually did really well with was, you know, these these characters, how vastly different their backgrounds are in, in from each other. And not only that, but how totally vastly different they are from each other as well. They 100% felt like, you know, it was their own piece 
to the story. Like, each character had their own significant chunk to, you know, connecting the story. But now, one thing I will say, which is kind of a criticism, is that the world of this film, as a horror film, I thought, you know, the world of Barbarian the movie was phenomenal. I had a lot of fun with it, but when it comes to, like, connecting that to, like, the outside or, like, the real world, these things just didn't always go well together, and I think is you know, one of the weakest aspects of the film. But that is just my criticism on the movie, guys. And overall, guys, I think that this is going to do for Airbnbs what, you know, say Psycho did for Showers or what Jaws did for The Ocean. The layers to this film was actually fucking insane. And I'm going to go as far as to say it, guys. This is so far the best film of the year for me. And I'm going to give it an overall 7 out of 10. So, guys, that was my... Uh, review of Barbarian. Uh, yes, I very much fucking love this movie. Um, I am gonna go see it again later this weekend, uh, but I cannot advise you guys enough. Horror fans for, you know, people that are sick of the cliches, people that want something refreshing and new and very unpredictable, go see this movie. Go see it. Uh, this is absolutely, again, the best horror film of the year so far, and my favorite film of the year as well. So, guys, that is going to do it for my review of Barbarian. Let me know what you guys thought about the movie down below for those that saw it, as well as my review. Take care, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hope that you guys enjoyed the video as well as your night. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.